Uh, I'm William Moss. I'm from New York City. I'm 17 years old. I've been climbing for about seven years now. The big goal is to climb on Passant, and my goal is also to do the whole thing on trad gear, which would be really cool, probably up the difficulty um, by adding those couple of moves as well as placing the gear. It says it's five kilonewtons, which is like the most you should generate in a single pitch fall, and I'm only running it out like up to there, which is like 10 feet, so a 20 foot fall should be fine on it. The placement's like super good if you place it right pulling down on it, but like pulling up at all, it's just gonna like come out. So it should be good. Just gotta like practice placing it and placing it well. And I would just say I really enjoy like hard single pitch track climbing since it really pushes me both mentally and physically. I was mostly just thinking about like going over the moves, but I was trying to like go over the emotions in particular like throughout all the sequences. Like sometimes in competitions I have a hard time like turning on the try hard just because I don't know when it's going to happen and then by the time it happens sometimes I'm just already off the wall and confused on why, but on this route I knew exactly when the hard part was coming, so I was trying to like recreate some of those emotions of trying really hard, as well as after the crux, where I like get a second to like think, and then think about the emotions of the next crux, of also trying hard again, getting to the finish, and not like getting too excited before I pull the last move and clip the chains. No. really interesting learning this new type of climbing because all the hard climbing I've done before this has been overhung, sport climbing, gym style. But this thing is just like two cracks that you're laybacking between and like gastoning between and it's just like a totally different angle as well. It's like a vertical 514 whereas everything else I've done has been like at least 30 degrees or more overhung. So it was just a huge learning experience. No, no, you fine. Climbing, it's literally all mental, like 
my strength was not holding me back. Nope. It's like, it's literally just a game we play. All in the mind. Yeah, resting. I mean, I like to think that that's one of the things I'm best at as a climber. And just a lot about calming yourself down again, lowering the heart rate, and really preventing the blood flow and lactic acid from spreading too far, and then being able to like really turn it on right after the rest is important as well. It was the hardest thing I had done, placing all the gear on lead, no bolts, no fixed gear. And especially, it's even cooler in my opinion that it was like R-rated and I really had to take time and effort into the placements. It was definitely a scary climb to be doing on gear. Just the combination of the challenge as well as the love for trad climbing itself is really what motivated me to try and do this. 